Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Gate Maniac. I'm your host, Constance Miller. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about two Masters of the Universe Origins figures that I never thought that I would ever get, um, and I, I did, and at a wonderful price for each of them, so let's get started with the first one. Try not to get too much reflection here, um, but this is Panthor. And I initially had the original Panthor um, as a child, second hand, so he didn't come with his armor, and his, um, he was, what's the term, flopped, I think is right, where his texture was a little bit furry, sort of like Moss Man. Um, and that was worn in certain areas, like here's a, a couple pictures to demonstrate the, the vintage Panthor that, um, this isn't the one that I had, but it just goes to show you what it could look like nowadays. So yeah, so now I've got Panthor again with armor. Oh, there we go. We got a better shot. And we're going to open him up. So here we get a look at Panthor. And unlike the original vintage figure, this actually has articulation. You can get movement in the shoulders. Although this one's a bit loose. Get some leg articulation on both sides. Tail articulation. And the best part is the head articulation. This is great. You can really move this around. That is fantastic. And his jaw opens and closes. It's phenomenal. This is great. And I'm not going to be afraid to tell you that I only paid $11 for this. Yeah. Pretty phenomenal. And his armor is removable. I'm not going to take it off just because... He doesn't have an alter ego. So there's no reason to really take the armor off. But I will be displaying Skeletor on him once I rearrange my display. Oh, and there's turnable legs. Imagine that. Fantastic. My hair is actually looking kind of cute today. And now we have Battle Cats. Oh, this is glorious. Growing up, I had a secondhand Battle Cat as well, 
also without his armor. So he was just Cringer, although he still looked really fierce. It was also really difficult to get uh, He-Man and Skeletor to ride on the backs of their respective animals without the armor. So it was kind of like, oh, I don't really mind having them, but they're kind of useless. Aside the fact that they look cool. But now I have a battle cat with the armor. And we're going to take a look. Starting now. So here we're not going to get a lot of surprises as far as articulation goes in regard to what we've already seen with Panthor. Same leg articulation. Same tail articulation. The paint job is obviously different. The head articulation works with the helmet on. And if you take the armor off, he is mild mannered cringer. Actually, he should be cowardly. Which is nice that you could close his mouth because he doesn't look as fierce that way. But he will be displayed in Battle Cat form. And that is really exciting to me because I didn't have the Battle Cat armor for my original back in the day. So here is a look at my redesigned Masters of the Universe Origins display. Thank you so much for watching this video. I certainly appreciate it. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Share with your friends who are like-minded. And if you want to talk about anything about these figures in the comments, please do so. I love interacting with fellow viewers. And also, if you're inclined to help the channel grow, which would be appreciated, you can do so by following the links in the description. Don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever Red and Slim Productions uploads a video. Thank you once again for watching. You have no idea what it means to me. Love and light to you all.